morning, good evening, and a good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzomos, and I welcome you to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking empaths free. For those that have just found our page, it's your first time here, I encourage you to join our community, like our page, share with your friends, and subscribe. And for the ones who've always been with me, you are welcome back, and I thank you for your love and support. There's one thing I believe, people. Um, <clears throat> Nazism cannot be explained. Yes, it may be explained, because a lot of people are trying to explain it online and uh, sometimes even trying to, to, to warn other people about it. There's one thing I believe that if somebody has not met a narcissist, if somebody has not been with a narcissist, they cannot really understand, they cannot really figure out and, and, and really get the experience because narcissism has got to be experienced. It does not matter if you're explaining this thing to somebody who doesn't know it, they will never get you. And you cannot blame them because, um, especially if you've been with a covert narcissist, the people, they will see something different from the, from the person they know. You may have neighbors. They will see a normal, a, normal, a normal guy or a normal man or woman coming out of the house. But as soon as it gets into the house, they turn into a monster. So it will be a completely different situation. So the question, of, the question for today, why am I making this video? I want to discuss exactly why, why I believe. The question, of today, the, the question of today is going to be, is the new supply equally as toxic as the narcissist? Now, my own answer is going to be yes and no. But the answer is going to depend on your situation and exactly what you've experienced. But my own answer is going to be yes and no. And I will tell you a very short experience what I had with the new supply. The first time I found out that actually uh, my ex narcissist was actually seeing somebody new, in, in this case, the new supply, the first time I had the confrontation with him is the time when I actually found them red handed. That was, a, that, that was very shortly after the, the discard. When the discard happened, like, it's like within two days. After the discard, it took me two days to actually catch the, catch the narcissist with somebody new. And in those days, I didn't know anything about new supply. I didn't know anything about narcissism. I didn't even know what I was dealing with. So in my, in my, in my mind, I just thought that, okay, so this could be a cheating situation. This could be a case whereby somebody had been cheating all along in the relationship. So I just took it as a cheating situation, but I didn't know that actually there was narcissism, narcissism connected to this. So I had, the, I had the chance to confront the new supply. And there is only one question I asked this, uh, this individual when I met him that, in that time. Uh, out, of, out of the shock, I was able to confront him and I asked him one thing in particular. I asked him, how long have you known my wife? And smilingly, he was like, um, well, I've known her for quite a while. And in my mind, I was like, okay, so... So in that process of confrontation, the narcissist came, came and drugged this, this new supply away from the scene. So she made sure that I don't ask more questions, but I had the, I had the chance to answer the new supply one question. How long did you know my wife? And the, and the new supply has answered me, I have actually known your wife for a while. So the reason why I'm saying that you cannot explain narcissism because you cannot go and sit down with somebody and explain to them this kind of situation and they will get it. Um, number one, why I believe uh, the new supply may be, may be equally as toxic as the, the NAC themselves is. First of all, there's a very big chance that um, there's a very big chance that the NAC has made their double. Why do I mean by the what do I mean by the the narcissist has made their, has made their double? Because if the narcissist has made somebody, in this case the new supply, and they have already told that new supply that they are in a relationship or a marriage or even I don't know whatever it is, they are already engaged with somebody else, and the new supply accepts to go on with this relationship or friendship without actually having having to figure out what is the other what, what is the other side saying and what is the other side of the story. They go with, the, they go with the narcissist story and whatever and, they, and the, what they have actually told them and they go ahead with this relationship. That means that actually the new supply is equally as toxic as the narcissist because in my own opinion, a person with a sound mind will never actually engage in a relationship with anybody who they believe is already in a committed relationship. They will never engage a woman or a man, those new individuals, they will never engage somebody new 
before they know the details of what is going on in their lives. So if they have already found out that somebody is in a committed relationship, in this case even a marriage, they will never allow themselves to get involved in that kind of scenario because if they allow themselves to get into that kind of scenario, that means that actually those individuals, they are actually equally as toxic, which means that they have stepped into that partnership. They already know there is somebody there. They already know there is a commitment going on. They already know there's a marriage going on. What is going on in that marriage, whether it is good or bad, it is not their business. But if they have decided that they are going to step into that marriage and actually even cause a breakup for, a breakup for this matter, because that's what I thought. I thought that in the beginning it was just a breakup. I didn't know that I didn't know that actually I was going through a discard. I just thought that we have actually I thought that it was a separation in the first place. That was before my awakening. So they have caused a separation, a discard, or a breakup. And they already know that person, man or woman that they are engaged with, is already seeing somebody else. Is already married to somebody else. So there's a committed relationship going on already before they come in. If they if they, if they have accepted to step into that partnership, that means that actually the new supply themselves, they are toxic as the, just as toxic. As the narcissist the second case scenario i will give is that uh, there is a very big chance that uh, they are innocent but they can only be they can only be innocent and actually they can only be normal individuals in this case empaths if they have never if they have never ever heard about the the, the narcissist actually being in another relationship so for example in my case in the beginning when i met the narcissist in the very beginning, uh, my very first beginning, the encounter, it was very clear that the narcissist was single. Yes, she had had, uh, she explained that there was a relationship that had gone on uh, previously before she met me. So she told me there had been somebody, but somehow things didn't work out. And she actually, if uh, as well as I remember, that, that, that was something that had, that had happened like, uh, like, let me say, about three months before I met her. So in my case, I knew there was nobody there. I knew there had been somebody previously, but in that moment of meeting the nurses, there was nobody there. So in my case, I knew there was nobody in the picture before I made the knock. So in that case, if the empath, if the person, if the new supply has met the nurses, and the nurses has, met, has not mentioned anything like they are in a relationship with somebody, they are in a marriage with somebody, that means that that new supply is actually innocent because they are believing they are going to start somebody new, something new with somebody new. In that case, there's nobody in the picture. So, yes, because, number one, I said yes, because the new supply will be toxic because they already know there's somebody in the picture. Those knacks are married, those knacks are engaged, those knacks are actually in a very long, committed relationship. And it is a no as well because if a new supply has met the narcissist and there is nobody in the picture, there is nobody nobody in the background. There's no committed relationship. The nurses may have mentioned maybe they were dating somebody before, but then things didn't work out and they, each of them had to go separate ways. So if that is the case, uh, if that is the case in this in this situation, that means that the new supply is not a toxic person. It's just somebody who just got caught up with the wrong person. So there are two cases whereby the nurses will actually meet an empath. In that case, the empath is stepping into a new committed a new relationship with the narcissist they are just starting something together but there's not there's there's nobody behind the scenes and there's nobody in the background but if the narcissist has met somebody who has accepted to be with them regardless of whether they are seeing somebody in the background there's somebody in the background there's somebody there's a committed relationship in the background and that new supply accepts to enter that partnership and start a relationship with somebody that means that that actually that that that, that new supply is most likely another knack so it is very likely the narcissist has just made their match. They have just made their double. And I can guarantee you people, it is not going to take a couple of months before they realize that actually they are just two people, two toxic individuals feeding, feeding each other with toxicity. And in, in whichever way it is, that thing is not going to work out. And in most of the cases, if it is a knock with another knock, they're not, it's, you know, it's not going to end well and that relationship is not going to go anywhere. In this video, people, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And let me know what has been your experience in the beginning of meeting the NAC. Did the NAC mention they are meeting somebody else? They were seeing somebody else. They were married to somebody else. They were in a committed relationship with somebody else. Or was it that or, or was it that case and situation whereby it was just you and the NAC who are starting something new? And there had been a breaking, uh, there had been a breakup before, and you were just inside there to start something new with the NAC. I want to know what has been your experience. Until then, people, 
been a lovely day to have you guys on board. Much love and blessings. Let me know what you, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Bless and I catch you soon. There's the most signing out.